Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 1871 suite here at the Royal Berkshire Conference Centre, the Majeski Stadium, uh, for the Larder Awards 2015. The Laundry and Dry Cleaning Awards 2015. These awards aim to celebrate skills, recognise hard work, identify role models, and either give encouragement for future careers or recognise past contributions for companies and individuals in the professional textile care industry. The judging criteria is the individual criteria differed by category, but the emphasis was on the overall quality of the entry, the merits of the claims and supporting evidence, as well as the quality of the entry's narrative itself. This is category number one, the Trainee Stroke Apprentice of the Year. This award is for current apprentices and those who have completed an apprenticeship formal training program in the last 12 months, who have shown outstanding commitment and dedication to their training. The judges were asked to concentrate on the following. Technical knowledge, understanding of our industry, communication skills, customer service attitude, capacity to be a role model, ambition and initiative. The finalists are Agnieszka Svatowska from Central Laundry. <laughs> Lauren from Ideal Manufacturing. And Dean and Josh Rush from Installation Machinery Services, who unfortunately can't be here this lunchtime due to a previous commitment. Would you please welcome to the stage our sponsor for this category, Darren Lockley from Electrolux Professional, to present the award. That's for you, Darren. And the winner is Lauren Hackett. Here we have Trainee Apprentice of the Year. Well done, Lauren. Come on, let's have a little bit of applause for our winner. Trainee Apprentice of the Year. And could we now ask Agnieszka Svatowska to come to the stage and uh, receive a little gift from us. Let's hear it for runner-up, Agneta. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Agnieszka Svatowska and, of course, our sponsor of the category, Darren Lockley from Electrolux Professional. Moving right along, it's a show with a bit of pace to it. Number two, the best newcomer of the year. This award was aimed at companies who had shown true promise in their new role and was open to those with fewer than 18 months' experience in their current role. This award recognizes those demonstrating the entrepreneurial aptitude, commercial acumen, vision, ambition, and drive. The judges were asked to consider the following. The circumstances, personal and economic, in which the new role was taken up. What differentiates the business from its competitors? Notable achievements to date and potential for growth. The three finalists for this category are, your applause please, Ludovic Blanc from Blanc Cleaners. Jane Downton from Downton Dry Cleaning. And Dual and Shuita Desai from EcoFresh. Would you please now welcome to the stage the sponsor of this category, Paul Frankham from Brightwell to present the award. Come and join us, Paul. One for you. Paul receives the golden envelope. And somebody's already opened it for him. That's handy. Uh, the winner's Jane Downson. <laughs> Let's hear it for your best newcomer of the year, the lovely Jane Downton. Come on. Give it up for Jane.
We would also now welcome to the stage the runners-up, Ludovic Blanc and Dewal and Shawita Desai from EcoFresh. Please join us on the stage for your awards. Runners up and winners together. We'll uh, assemble for you for a photograph. Always handy for blackmail at a later date. There we are, ladies and gentlemen. Please show your appreciation for Ludovic Blanc from Blanc Cleaners. Uh, Dual and Shawita Desai from EcoFresh and your winner, the best newcomer of the year, Jane Downton from Downton Dry Cleaning. Well done to each and every one of you. We move on to our category number three. Category number three is the most innovative company. The judges were looking for evidence of how the nominated company, Innovation, had developed and applied to improve the commercial performance, effectiveness or customer service. The judges were asked to consider the following. Created competitive advantage. Contributed to significant growth. Transformed the organization or wider industry. Improved overall financial performance. Achieved operational excellence. Embedded ethical or sustainable practices. Helped staff deliver better customer service. Increased market share or customer loyalty. And supported strong leadership and management. God, that looks a lifetime award, that lot, isn't it? The three finalists in this category are Drystream. <laughs> Ecolab. <laughs> and Xeros. Would you now please, in time-honoured fashion, welcome to the stage the sponsor of this category to present the award and let us know who the winner is in Most Innovative Company. Uh, please welcome Philip Cowley from Ideal Manufacturing to present the award. Thank you, Philip. That's for you, Philip. And the winner is? Straight to business. Yeah. Zeros. Here we have most innovative company of the year. They are Xeros. That's it, right? If you raise it over your head, you'll get the cheer, obviously. God, the audience are whipped into a frenzy here. Most innovative company of the year, Xeros. Will you now please welcome uh, the two runners-up in this category, representatives from uh, Drystream and Ecolab, to join us for their awards. Ladies and gentlemen, most innovative company of the year. Your winner, Xeros, with the runners-up, Drystream and Ecolab. Come on, let's hear it for them. And, of course, Patrick Kelly from Ideal Manufacturing, the sponsor and presenter of this award. We're almost halfway there. Flip the page for award number four. Award number four in the Larders 2015 is the Green Impact Award. The judges were looking for the business that had invested in their staff, systems and services to enable it to improve the social and environmental performance in their business operations. The judges were asked to consider the following. Ability to balance economic performance, environmental and social concerns, and engaging with customers, suppliers and staff alike. The three nominated finalists in this category are, your applause please, Fisher Services Limited. Berenson, 
and Chrysler Textile Care. I'd now like you to keep that applause going and welcome to the stage to present the award, the Green Impact Award, uh, and that is Jason Alexander from Renzacci UK PLC. And the uh, winner is Berenstain. Green Impact of the Year Award winner, Berenstain, ladies and gentlemen. Now could we ask to come to the stage, Fisher's Services Limited and Chrysler Textile Care are two runners up in the category Green Impact. There we have it, ladies and gentlemen, the Green Impact Award. And runners up, Fisher Services Limited and Cruiser Textile Care. The winners, Berenson. And also a nice thank you to Jason Alexander from Benzacci UK PLC for presenting the award. Thank you for that, Jason. Give Jason a clap. Yeah, yeah. Give Jason a clap. Come on. <laughs> award number five is the Training and Education in the Workplace Award. In this category, judges were looking for a business that invested in the development of its people as part of its business strategy, regardless of its size. Entrants will be expected to demonstrate why training their employees is important to the organisation and how training needs are identified at an individual and organisational level. Have they seen measurable improvements in the business's performance throughout training? And is there one person within their organisation who has gone above and beyond what is expected of them in developing new skills and applying them to the business? The judges were asked to consider the following. Examples of investment across a range of development interventions, including mentoring, coaching, open learning, as well as formal learning. The direct benefit of this investment must be an improved performance. Evidence of success and the benefits will score highly, as will evidence of genuine senior commitment to the people development. The three finalists in this category, the training and education in the workplace category are, from Electrolux, Mick Christian. From Prestige 121 Training, Pam Turbot. And also the Laundry Technology Centre, who unfortunately, due to previous commitments, cannot join us this afternoon. So could I now welcome to the stage, um, from Alex Reed to present the award, our sponsor, Mr. Darren Walker. Give Darren a big hand. Thank you, Darren. The winner is Mick Christian. So there we have training and education in the workplace. The winner, Mick Christian for 2015. Well done. Let's hear it for Mick. Also, can we welcome to the stage a runner-up, Pam Turbot, Prestige 121 training. Well done, Pam. Come and join us up here. Give them a big round of applause. Our runner-up, Pam Turbot, and our winner in the category Training and Education in the Workplace for 2015. Let's hear it from Mick Christian from Electrolux. Moving on to the next category, we have the best new product is our category number six. We're sort of three quarters of the way there, and we've still got you hooked, haven't we? Judges were looking for a new product, be it machinery, chemicals, ancillary products, whatever it is. Please note this award is for products only, not services. The product should have been introduced to the market within the past 24 months. 
The award was judged on the impact that the product has made, the level of innovation, cost impact and cost effectiveness, and the predicted impact on the industry in the future. The three finalists in this are category number six, the best new product are Metal Progetti for the automated assembly system. Jonathan O'Brien for Dry Cleaners Online Limited. An ideal manufacturing for the mini roller on spotter kit. Please now welcome to the stage our sponsor in this category, and he comes from TSA. A big, big round of applause for Mr. Martin Lewis. <laughs> Too big, I shan't be taking the mickey out of him. <laughs> a microphone for you, Martin. Thank you. You'll need that one. You think so? I think so. Well, probably not, but... No, probably not. If you say it's Wednesday, it's Wednesday, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> 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 I'm pleased to announce the winner is Jonathan O'Brien. <laughs> Category number six for 2015, the best new product, Jonathan O'Brien, Dry Cleaners Online Limited. There's a happy looking award winner. Will you now please welcome to the stage the representatives from Metal Progetti and Ideal Manufacturing, our runners-up in this category. Let's hear it for them all. The best new product category, your winner, of course, Jonathan O'Brien. Thank you, Jonathan. With runners-up, Metal Brigetti and Ideal Manufacturing. Also, big thanks, and I mean big thanks, to Martin Lewis of TSA, our sponsor and award presenter. Give Martin a little round of applause. Come on. Category number seven, the penultimate category in the awards for 2015. This is a Lifetime Contribution Award. The Lifetime Achievement Award will go to an individual who during their career has made a significant contribution to the advancing and the professionalism of our industry. Whether it's their own business, they are an employee, tell us what they have achieved and why they deserve an award for their lifetime contribution. The judging panel will consider all nominations and select the most worthy individual based on the information provided by the nominee. This category was extremely difficult to judge and all candidates were marked by the judges as potential winners. All four candidates at the final count were within two points of being the winner. So uh, we really do need some big applause and recognition in this category. For the finalists, who are Jack Fowler, founder of Laundry and Dry Cleaning Today. George Alexander, founder of Ranzacci UK PLC, unfortunately can't be here today. <laughs> Dr. Mike Kelly, founder of Ideal Manufacturing. <laughs> They've done well. And finally, Ken Cupid, founder member of the Guild of Cleaners and Launderers. Could we ask you to reserve a huge round of applause as we welcome to the stage our sponsor for this category, Les Marshall. <laughs> That's yours. And the winner is, and I'm delighted, Mike Kiley. <laughs> Lifetime contribution. Dr. Mike Carley, founder of Ideal Manufacturing. A wonderful piece of engraved crystal there to take away as a recognition of that achievement. 
There we have it, your Lifetime Achievement winner. Put your hands together for him, Dr. Mike Kelly. And, of course, your gallant and very, very close runners-up, Jack Fowler, Ken Cupid, and on behalf of his father, Jason Alexander, thank you very much indeed. We have, uh, we have one final award uh, to make, and for this I would like to also welcome out on the stage Tina Gleed. Uh, Tina has, has put in so much hard work to get this absolutely right this lunchtime. I think we deserve to give her an enormous round of applause. The commitment and uh, second to none, running round at the last minute, doing every little thing. This particular award is dedicated to Murray Simpson. Uh, for 17 years of increasing the profile of our industry, keeping everybody up to date with industry legislation and doing a thoroughly, thoroughly good, reliable, honest job. Unfortunately, Murray was involved in a fatal accident in November of last year. So I would like to welcome to the stage Roger Salmon to accept this award on behalf of Murray and his family. Roger, would you join us on the stage, please? Lastly, could we welcome our judges to the stage for a photo call? And the people that actually made the decision to decide who would win what this afternoon, which took an enormous amount of deliberating. Um, we'd also like to, before we call it the stage, thank our sponsors. And they are Mele, uh, Ranzacci, Brightwell, Ideal, Alex Reed, Electrolux, and TSA. Uh, without your sponsorship and help, obviously these events wouldn't be possible. Thank you very much indeed. Could I now call to the stage the judges for a final photo call? And I'd like you to give them a nice round of applause as we welcome them to the stage. The judges are Jack Fowler, Liz Chatterton, Les Marshall, Jason Alexander, Adrian Redgate, John Shonfield, Selwyn Bershenhardt, Darren Lockley, Paul Frankham, Philip Kelly, and Darren Walker. Someone get you in. <laughs> there we are, all our judges are getting a, a nice bottle of bubbly to take away for their efforts. Would you do me one last favour, put your hands together for all our judges and all our sponsors, ladies and gentlemen. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the conclusion to the Lada Awards 2015. I'm sure everybody will be working particularly hard um, to achieve for next year so that they're up here as a winner on stage. Um, thank you very, very much indeed for coming on board, for uh, your applause and for your enthusiasm. Uh, for the final word, I'll hand you over to our organiser, Mark Gleed. Thank you very much. Thank you all for coming. And, uh, well, I just hope you have a safe onward journey home. Thanks very much. Thank you.